Hey guys, Thing Fishy here again with part two of my Elden Ring parry guide. And before we get into it, I'd just like to say thank you for watching my last video. There are so many great creators out there at the moment making Elden Ring content, so the fact that I got a few hundred views on this tiny channel really, really amazed me, so thank you so much. Now, for today's guide, we're going to go a little deeper and do a bunch more testing. In the last video, I concluded that the Buckler parry in Elden Ring was amazing, but the Medium Shield and the Kestis parries really weren't. So in today's video, I'm going to revisit those three tools, along with two more options against the first major boss in the game, Margit the Fell. So first of all, I decided to make a new character. One that stood a good chance against Margit, and with all the necessary equipment for my testing, as quickly as possible. So to do this, I adapted a route that I've seen some other creators and some speedrunners using and arrived at the gate of Margit's Arena 50 minutes later with 25 Vigor, 25 Dex, a plus four Reduvia, which is an ideal weapon for a parry build, the Buckler, the Rift Shield, which is a small shield, the Blue Crest Heater Shield, which is a medium shield, and the Parry Dagger, and all of that after only fighting two enemies. Now, if you want to try this testing yourself, or you just fancy a head start on a bleed dex build that you can take straight into Stormvale Castle, I'll leave a link to the video of the full route in the description so you can play along with me. So first up, I tested the buckler, and there's really not a lot to say here. It's brilliant. Every parry attempt where my timing was even close to correct was successful and I didn't feel robbed at any point. No surprises here then. Then on to the small shield. Now I'd already tested this briefly for one of my viewers on the last video with quite encouraging results, but now I wanted to try it on Margit. And it was very, very good. Over the course of a few fights with Margit, I couldn't feel any difference between it and the buckler. So, not much point in bothering with the buckler then, if the small shield is just as good, right? Well, not quite, but more on that later. Now for the parrying dagger. Now, I've always found parrying daggers in previous titles to be quite inconsistent for my reflexes, but in the name of science, I thought I'd give it a go. And... It's really, really good. And again, over the course of multiple Margit fights, I couldn't tell it apart from the buckler or the small shield. Now at this point, dear viewers, I started worrying. I thought I'd fucked up. With all three of these options feeling great, I thought to myself, what if Elden Ring just has a very different parry timing to the other Souls games? One that I've adapted to over the hours I've spent playing it. What if, when I completely wrote off the Medium Shield and Kestus parries for Margit on my first playthrough, I just hadn't mastered that timing yet? What if they are viable options after all? So before testing the Medium Shield, I hopped over to the Isolated Merchant in Kaelid to get the Kestus, and stopped by the War Master Shack to fit it with the Parry Ash of War. Now time to test out these two ugly ducklings again and find out if I have unfairly misjudged them. Nope, they're still garbage. But we have three parrying tools now. The buckler, the small shield, and the parrying dagger that are all indistinguishable from each other for the Margit fight. So to see if I could feel any differences between them, I hopped back to our test soldier enemy near the Church of Ella to test out the parrying dagger and the small shield. Now, on the face of it here, you'd be forgiven for not noticing any difference to my buckler attempts from the last video. 
I could consistently parry this enemy's swing attacks for minutes on end, just like the buckler. However, this enemy has another attack that he uses far more rarely, a backhanded swing with a comparatively fast star. After a few minutes of testing the small shield and dagger, I noticed that I hadn't successfully parried this attack once. So I swapped over to the buckler and... Now, this is interesting. It's interesting because this is proof to me that the buckler has a faster start up than the other two options. So while they felt the same for Margit's very slow and telegraphed attacks, for those moments of sheer panic, when an enemy throws a fast attack at you and you parry at the very last moment, the buckler is still the best parrying tool. And due to the amount of enemies in Elden Ring that have very quick attacks, it's still the one that I'd recommend for players who want parrying to be an integral part of their build. And that's it for today's video. I know I haven't yet covered all of the parrying tools in Elden Ring, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for part 3. Thanks guys, see you soon.